Howdy y'all, this is Texas Gaming Industries here, and welcome to episode 26, part 3 of my Let's Play of Transport Fever 2. In the previous episode, with the new mods installed that I had mentioned in the description of the previous episode, we have replaced some of the vehicles on our trains with much more realistic British variants, as well as getting some vehicles set up to deliver loads of supplies over the English Channel into Britain to supply the airport for our plane. So in this episode, hopefully, we'll be able to get our first loads of fuel and tools delivered to the airport in London so we can begin our flight between England and Australia. So, first things first, we need to get the fish delivered here. Train EM1, well, EMI, basically is has just arrived to pick up its first load. Well, is just reaching its destination before traveling into Greece to pick up the fish at Athens. Well, a local passenger service is going to pick up passengers at Athens Exchange. Surprisingly, there's 53 people waiting at the platform. I did not expect that at all. Let's see. Tools are being processed right now, and they're being loaded onto our trains of tools. With H1 delivering tools to Lyon, and the other delivering them to Britain. So, I think we'll just turn these trains around for now to get their supplies delivered. As for the train carrying fuel to London, let's see. G1, it takes fuel to Upper London. We only just need, like, about a few units of fuel in order for the first load. For the plane to get flying. So we'll basically deliver those loads for now. As for the fuel being processed here, this refined oil, it needs just to drop it off. But I don't get it. How come G2 is not being filled up with fuel? I mean, it's going to the airport. Well, fuel is already there, but it needs food and it needs tools. Which, thankfully, my trains are currently delivering to their locations right now. All the while, this food processing plant needs fish, grain, livestock, or rice in order to be processed. Which won't be too long, as we can simply just turn this train around right now with 115 units of fish on board. Let's speed this game up a bit. The game is starting to stutter a little. Great. Well, it's not noticeable right now, but it will be eventually. So, this train will pick up the first loads of fuel, and then I'll turn it around, and it will set off for London to the docks to drop off the fuel from one of the trucks to take its fuel to the airport. While we're still waiting for some of the other vehicles to arrive. But according to our charts here, we got a lot of passengers loaded here at this transfer station from this London Transfer Depot. I'm surprised, actually. Whoa. Uh, I did not expect that to happen at all. But at least, however, if it takes people to and from England, I'll be happy. Though, this ship is basically in the way. But thankfully though, unlike real life, these ships can actually phase through each other. If that was only possible in real life. Uh oh. Train 9, Train 17. Oh, crumbs. They got stuck. Okay. Let's see, I'll just put it on track 5 if any of the tracks get blocked. That will be used as an emergency. As for the lumber, we got nearly half a full load. Half a load, well, half a full train of lumber. Now it just needs to do is just pick up half a full load of, well... Are you serious? Ugh. I'm 
putting these signals onto this end instead. There we go. That should fix everything up. For now, at least. Which... You can take the first load of fuel to the dock side. Where's that train of tools? Surely this... Ah, okay. The ship has filled up with tools for now. And speaking of ships, I think it's probably time to replace my eight, my cargo ships with uh, something a little more appropriate. Thankfully, I have the British Coaster mod installed. I'll need about 2.45 or 2.48 million credits. I'll swap them out, as these ships can carry over 300 units of cargo instead of 200, which is very good. Alright. First loads of fuel have arrived. Now it just needs tools, and then everything should be A-OK. -okay. Because, in order for it to go on, I have to get this airport supply to set the level two. As all airports require three units of fuel, one unit of food, and one unit of tools. So basically, I have to transport a lot of fuel, but I also have to transport at least a few units of food and tools in order for them to basically be leveled up. Thankfully, train EMA raw oil pickup has a full load, now taking it to be processed. And with the arrival of tools, yep, production has reached level production has reached level one. So slowly and steadily we'll be able to basically get this up to a higher level. But I think we'll have to deliver a little more fuel, tools, and food in order for that to be done. Let's see. Speaking of which, there's fuel being processed. 36 units of fuel. That's actually pretty good. That should be enough for a few fully loaded trucks. Let's see. Iron ore is still going good. Speaking of which, what about my steel and lumber train? Wow. Nearly a full load of steel and lumber. We'll probably have our first fully loaded train in just a matter of moments. Our first loads of fuel have also been uh, food have been delivered to, to the heart to the airport at Leon. Which basically now will soon reach level 2 in a matter of moments as well. It's all about basically making sure that every industry has a good amount of supplies brought in. Speaking of which, train H2 is still loading up on tools, but it needs more supplies. Well, I might as well turn this train around and get this load of lumber and steel to its destination. All the while, the more we earn money, the more we'll be able to take out, take down our loan. I have been able to take out my loan. Jeez, I can't speak. I have been able to basically take down every single loan on every mission I played on. I. But, however, I want to basically be sure, basically have no debt in my bank account by the end of this mission. Speaking of which, not to mention, I want to have a look at my finances. Okay, train European Mainland H2 carrying tools is not making much of a profit, but this one carrying raw oil, it's carrying over 6.2 million credits. That's a pretty good amount of money. The oil refinery is at level 2, thankfully. Speaking of which... Alright, 36 units of fuel. Soon enough it should have a good amount of... The other ships will also have a good amount of tools. Oh. H2 carries tools to London Sidings. Cool. Nice. 
blast with this full supply of lumber and steel, the strange make of whopping 6.40 million credits, and the steel and this lumber tool factory will have tons of supplies needed to make tools. Let's see. It still needs a good amount of fuel. But thankfully, ship this ship is about to pull into the port and pick up more, well, drop off more fuel for my trucks. Since these trucks carry about 14 units of cargo each, this ship, delivering 38 units of 36, should basically be enough to help the airport board get up to another level. Alright. Another problem? Train 2, train 18. Oh, crumbs. It's blocking the junction. Uh, let me see. Maybe I could put on the signal glitch by doing this. And doing the signal glitch here. There we go. That should fix the problem. Alright, let's see. It has enough fuel brought in for now, but it needs more tools. One of my trains has delivered about 11 units, so let's see. Train EMH1 delivers tools to Leon, so EMH2 will deliver tools to the dock side of England. This train has already dropped up about 11 units of tools, so basically this ship has should have a few of no, the tools to basically be delivered. <sighs> this is not going to be an easy task. Not at all. But, however, as long as we're making a profit on, my, on many of my services, I'll be satisfied. Because, speaking of which, time is actually going really, really, really slowly. So, it won't be too long before we basically make our trip to, well, Australia. Okay. Only eight tools on that truck, but that's fine. Let's see. There's still plenty of lumber and still plenty of steam steel being processed into tools, but somehow the destinations are not doing so well. Why is London Airport being at 5? It needs every single amount of tools and fuel we need. Speaking of which, we're now basically starting to get up to level 3. Since all of them go up by 3, let's see. It will need to be a consumption of 15, and consumption of, let's see, 5 and 5. So, once it gets to 15, 5, 5, then it should start leveling up to level 2. So we still have a little more time before those deliveries need to be made. All the while, I believe our European sector is well financed and well flourishing. So maybe it's also time to get started on the Middle Eastern part of our operations. There's iron ore being here, but I don't see any coal. Maybe there is some coal around in these parts? I'm not so sure. But there's a lot of oil. Let's see, there's a grain farm, there's oil. Hmm, there should be a coal mine somewhere. Okay, there is no oil, no coal in these areas, but, however, we could transport a lot of oil, which could be very prof profitable for processed into fuel. If we could find... As there's a fuel refinery, oil refinery here in Damascus, and a fuel refinery here at Tehran. 
So let's actually get started on constructing our Middle Eastern operations. First of all, we need to replace the track work here at the Madrid station for our Middle Eastern railways. By deleting the original vanilla track using our Japanese style track. Aircraft oh. can only stay in the air for a limited amount of time. The aircraft needs to be refueled regularly. The engineer should have enough time for its maintenance, and the crew needs time to rest. Making a long journey like this will therefore require a lot of intermediate stops at airports along the way. To get an idea of the distances the aircraft can fly, you can check out the handbook. Alright. Our plane, our plane can now start flying around, but now we need to choose a destination. It is time to go, Captain. Fly the Vickers Vimy to Port Darwin, Australia. Plan your route carefully. At every airport you land, enough supplies need to be available before you can take off again. Oh. Alright, so we need to get there by night, by the beginning of 1920. But now with that done... We can now basically choose on which destination we can fly. Each airport, depending on how much supplies we have at the airport supply, we can basically fly to a particular region of the map. We can either fly to Madrid, Rome, Toulouse, Lyon, or Vienna. Considering we have a lot of supplies here in Lyon, let's basically fly there. Let's actually fly there. So. Our plane will take off from the If something goes wrong, you must be able to make an emergency landing. The chances of survival in a ditching are close to zero. You should therefore avoid flying over water as much as possible. Try not to fly more than 2,000 nautical miles over water. Calling at non-British airports can involve lengthy and tiring administration. To avoid any unnecessary delays, you should avoid stopping at non-British airports as much as possible. Land on more airports that are under British rule than airports that are not under British rule. That would be a bit of a problem. As much as I like to basically travel to cities that require supply, well, that are under British rule, I'd rather just basically do what it is. So, we can also fly back to London if we wish. But, however, here's the thing. We still have enough supplies to get us to another airport. Hmm. We could fly to Constantinople, but we'll have to deliver supplies there. So, we'll fly take off and head to Constantinople. So, again... In order for my plane to take off and reach its next destination, I have to supply at least every airport that I connect with with enough fuel, tools, and food for the airplane to take off for another destination. Plus, I cannot fly more than 200 nautical miles over any body of water. Basically, over lakes, rivers, or oceans. Because if I fly over water, that goes down. So I need to save as much as I can for flying over to Australia. But we'll take off from Lyon and head into Constantinople, which will take out a nice big chunk of flying over the... Well, take out a nice big chunk of our distance between Britain and Australia. But once we've landed in Constantinople, we cannot take off until we get more fuel, food, and tools delivered to this airport. Thankfully, we can deliver food to the airport by road, but we need to deliver tools and fuel by other forms of transport. Alright. Now that we have arrived, we cannot depart. So... Our airplane is stuck there for now. But that is totally okay. 
we can finally get started on our oper we can start work on building our Middle Eastern operations to supply fu fuel as well as tools. For one thing, we're gonna basically operate outside of the country of Madrid and head into Northern Africa. There will be an express service that runs from here all the way to the uh, to the edge of the of our operation Middle Eastern operations. If that is if the track wants to cooperate with me. Convert this into the only tunnel to operate in the Middle Eastern area. As you can see, there is a road connection that could bring in iron ore. But, however, we are not going to use that roadway. We'll curve this to the left. And as you can see, if we tried to bridge this over, it's going to cost us a whopping 82.2 million credits. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. So, to fix this remedy, I'm going to actually flatten the ground between these two to cut down on the distance. There we go. And then just simply smooth out the land on either side and get rid of this road. And voila! I could easily build a bridge over to this region of the country for a very, very affordable price. Since this bridge is going to basically be used for past trains, we're going to use a steel truss bridge over this river. Well, over the over the channel, and now we're in the barren wastelands of the Middle East. Though we do have connections here to to news, which requires grain, livestock, rice, or fish to be processed into food. We could basically connect that to our rail network and deliver fish to another part of the map. Hmm. There is some coal located here in eastern part of the map, we could basically deliver iron ore here and coal from this to here. This requires a lot of strategic planning. Alright. We'll convert this back to the original track on this end. Build a bridge across the same way, and convert this back to the normal Japanese track. And now, with our tracks in the Middle East, well, our tracks in the Middle Eastern region, I believe we have reached a good ending point for today's episode. So, if you enjoyed this episode of my Let's Play at Transport Paper 2, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to Texas Gaming Industries for new video uploads every Friday or Saturday, depending on my outside schedule. And as always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye!